and we are back. And tonight we have both Eric Mon and Tyrone Kenshin on the show together. These these guys are gonna be fighting in two weeks in a uh, welterweight uh-huh. kickboxing bout, 175 pounds. Uh, guys, welcome to the show. What's up? So two of the most, I guess, regular fighters we have here. Both of you guys have been around here for a while, competing often. Uh, most of the fights on your records are here, with, and, and I appreciate you guys always coming back. Eric, you're a part-time matchmaker when you're not fighting, so we need to... Eric, need the matchmaker on. Need to quit matching you up so that you can uh, <laughs> help me. <laughs> I need you right now, man. With five events coming up, I am overwhelmed. Yes. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately hey, yeah, for Mr. Tyrone, we, I've not we, been matching we like fights, and I've been in the gym like crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sir. So, um, let me see here. What, Eric, your last fight, you fought April and um, came out on top with your kickboxing match. Uh, I guess redeemed yourself from your first from your first loss. Over with Colin, which you know that that was a fight could have went either way. Um, and then uh, November, Tyrone coming off of a win from November MMA win, um, beat old Joey Weaver. Um, that was a that was a that was an absolute war. Eric, your last fight was a war. Um, so we got two guys that aren't oh, that won't shy away from a from a fight or a couple punch. guys that aren't afraid to get in there and just fucking bite down their mouthpiece. And that's exactly why I wanted to yeah. fight that room. Yep. So elephant in the room. You guys almost fought um uh, in March. Yeah. Fight fell through last minute. We were all there. Fight fell through. Um really bummed us out. I know you guys trained hard, Eric. I know you cut a lot of weight for that one. Uh like a lot of weight. Um yeah, I guess you were. It was around holiday time, right? So you'd been. Yeah, uh, uh, it is what it is. Eating. I mean, <laughs> kind of missed a few holidays, missed maybe a birthday or something. Just making sure I was on weight and trying to be uh, professional about it as I could be, but it didn't happen. But okay. it's going to happen here in two weeks, and mm. we'll get a chance oh, to yeah. blow uh, the fucking roof off. That's the board, what we, so. that's that's what I'm looking for. You know, uh, I've watched Eric. He, he's I've said it before. He's 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 impressed me. He's the kind of guys we like to fight. Um, he's going to put on a war. I'm coming to put on a war. Uh, whoever's watching this, get ready to get your tickets, get your popcorn out. It's going to be a banger. Um, oh, yeah. Fight camp's good, man. Um, so, uh, it's Tyler, hard. How sweaty. has your uh, fight uh, camp been you know, going I've been this doing one. some good Learned rounds, getting some tough rounds in, uh, working with a lot of pros. Uh, yeah. Pro heavyweights, unfortunately, it's all we got around doghouse for some reason. It's a bunch of big guys, but you know it's a boxing gym, so that's what we do. You know, every Sunday is hard spar days. Um, other than that, just trying to keep a steady pace between work and training. You know, uh, that's all I can do. Weights coming off good. Uh, I think I'm six pounds away, so you know, I like to try to be early on the weight cuts and do it as healthy as possible. So. Yeah, looking good, looking on par. Uh, I'm just excited to get this, get get it in, get it over with, you know. Uh, put on a good show for the people. Uh, like I said, I've made a couple Facebook posts to Warriors yeah. Entering the Ring, you know, one result. And it's going to be an honor. Uh, it's an honor to, you know, grace the ring with, uh, with a good competitor. And I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, so uh, we some guys, out of field. Some guys um, been, uh, me and him go with. get some good rounds. About eh, on a good week, four or five. Whenever he's in there, um, Justin Milam, he's getting ready to make his pro debut. We do about six rounds, um, and a couple other amateurs and some young guys coming up. You know, we just try to train up the young guys. Uh, got a good group of. Kids coming out of high school, getting ready to make their ways into the fight world. So, you know, just a little, little bit of everybody, you know, um, mainly the, the pros are Justin Milam and uh, um, Andrew Satterfield. Shout out to them. Two great guys. Grace Barn partners. You know, a lot of experience there. And obviously Mike Shepard and Kenny over there. You know, just two good dudes. Bunch of group of good guys, you know. 
No, not yet. Yep. Yeah. Mike, you ever get in there and throw some of those leg kicks at you? No, yeah. hell no. I kicked his elbow, dude. I guess well, I kicked his elbow. And I thought I was a hard ass. Those I had no shin pads on. And I was like, yeah, I, I <laughs> took it, and then fucking an hour later, I couldn't walk. <laughs> so. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, a good elbow to the uh, to the shin that will always. That's what he said too. He said that hurt. I said no. The Mike Shepard elbow <laughs> was like kicking a brick wall. Fucking sure yeah. did. <laughs> Eric, uh, so tell me about your camp, man. This is a. Uh, I, I don't know. I believe this is going to be your first full camp at your new gym. At your that. Uh, I know you're still. I know you're still going to be working some at your old gym, but like being at, you know, being full time at Tartarus, how um, how's the camp been this time compared to um, your last fight? I uh, I love all the guys at Heathen Clan. They got me uh, as far as you know they got me, but it's been very beneficial for me personally to be at Tartarus the last two three months. I've been going there off and on for maybe a year, just working out with Mitch here and there. But I made the commitment and uh, changed gyms full time about two or three months ago. And honestly, man, my game has just, uh, it's really improved a lot. I mean, from guys inside the gym telling me and then just me seeing it myself, it's its really, I've, I've upped it a whole new level. So it's exciting. I can't wait to get in there and show it. Me, Mitchell Vaughn, uh, a couple of guys fighting on the card on the 29th and We've all been hard rounds in. Yep. Getting ready for this thing. I know, uh, I know I've been to your house and then we drove to Tartarus from there. And I mean, what, five, six minutes compared to an hour, hour, yeah. 15 minutes, your old gym. So that I love the guys at Heathen Clan so much. Those guys got me, those guys helped me become a fighter and, uh, done a lot for me. Tartarus is five, 10 minutes down the road. Heathen Clan was, 45 minutes down the road. So just one of those things. I still, I just done a uh, seminar over at Tim John, Tim Dunn's gym, uh, this past Saturday with Matt Brown, UFC legend, Matt Brown. So I'm still going back and forth a little bit here and there. It's all love everywhere. Yeah. So, uh, I, I know you've been getting working with Mitch. Uh, who else you've been uh, getting some, uh, sparring in with anybody who wants it. Um, so Mitchell, basically everybody but Dave Frenette, right? <laughs> yeah, my son. Um, yeah, uh, no, just all the guys that uh, all the guys at Tartarus there. Zach Wilds, he's in there constantly. Uh, Eric Eric Swan, both coaches, they're in there getting uh, rounds in. I thought his name was Dana White. Uh, that's what you call him. He he might he might moonlight as a uh, another bald guy, but he's just yeah. Just, um, he's like it, uh, the mini me of Dana White. Mitchell Vaughn, uh, uh, Benny, John Snow. There's so many guys in there who are up and coming, and God, there's there's some uh, veterans in there, whatever you want to call it. There's some new guys in there. There's some green guys in there. It's it's a gym for everybody, man. It's a great place. I've been uh, I've been seeing a lot of the videos, man. Um, looks like it's picking up because I know Zach Wilds goes live a lot in there, and yeah. uh, I've been I see you. See you in the background there sometimes. Yeah. Some work in but, uh, out of the camera. It looks can't see what I'm doing. Looks like the uh, looks like the the numbers are picking up in the gym. So Tyrone, you're at a, you're at we, a gym. We get, with some, a lot of we get some we get some we get some packed houses on Mondays, man. There gym, wasn't many people but, uh, in there today. I think they were a little afraid of the heat, but that uh, makes it easier for the weight cut. And I, I mean, I'm a diesel mechanic. I work in this heat all fucking day, so yeah, you know, it ain't nothing to me. Um, and you know, I'm dedicated, so that plays a big part there's a bunch of guys in there looking i was in my lizard suit and they were like oh man that's killer i was like it's easy work man it's easy it's right here you know it, it really is it really is easy if you love it if you're passionate about it you know mm -hmm. you easy know what you the steps it. you got to take to to get to where you're going to be and especially any weight weight based sport it's not for the faint of heart so you know when you step into it you got to step into it fully and and accept the pains and the and the the uncomfortabilities and everything, you know, um, you got to endure that shit. Yep. Well, um, before we go, guys, I'm going to get your, uh, your predictions on a few of the fights here. Um, 
Let me see. All right, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna get them all. You guys are kickboxing. Let's just get the kickboxing matches and then the main event. How about that? Um. All right. So we got a super heavyweight kickboxing match. Joe That's Perry awesome fight. Up um, against I gotta go William with my boy in that one. But uh, yeah, off that's a loss. pretty nice fight. Joe Perry coming off a loss, right? Maybe Joe. Yeah, Joe's coming off of a boxing loss. Uh, so this is Joe's. Uh, I, I like Joe Perry. I know he won. Cool. Yeah. And I like He's, Joe too. Uh, man. Dedicated, um, uh, individual. Joe, Joe works I'm hard. gonna go Joe Perry. He he works really hard. I've right. watched him over the last couple of years. He's improved his game. Um, and that's one thing we're cautious about over in our camp with Chubbs is you know just you know understand he's gonna be different in this fight. So fight your fight, fight hard. Um, Use your range, and you know that's what he's been working. So I'm going with my boy. I got to support him. Um, he's going to put on a war too, uh, and I'm excited to see that one. I'm actually glad, and I'm glad Joe's back and getting back into it. Both got both guys are. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. me too. Both guys are coming off of a loss. The same guy, uh, Dakota Begley, um, dude. And this is one thing uh, I, I've heard from both guys. Like you know, he doesn't look like much. So, he doesn't like move great. But when his fist connects, <clears throat> it just doesn't make it just doesn't make sense how much power he has. That's what both guys said to me. Um, both guys went into that fight, you know, after seeing video on uh, on Dakota, thinking like we're gonna you know we're gonna smash this guy, and uh, then uh, both of them were like his power is unreal. So that's that's what they both said, and then. Uh, he, okay. Speaking of him, he's fighting for uh, the new line boxing uh, title. I'm going, who, who's card. he fighting? Uh, I'll get your prediction on that one here in a second, too. Um, uh, let's go. Let's see. I got. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that one here in just a second. I'm working my way down from the top. All right, here's another kickboxing match. Uh, you've seen one of these guys. You haven't seen both. Seth DeWitt, he is from Maryland. He trains with Trace Thomas. And uh, and uh, Rob Meredith and those guys, and uh, he's up against Edward Petway. They call him Cali. He fought. Uh, he fought over. He fought for us in March at uh, hmm. Catalysburg. Won by first round TKO and MMA. Hmm. Uh, so he trains Man, with his house because I, I know and, Chase uh, Thomas comes from a decent gym, um, and I know Butch runs a good gym. Um, yeah. I don't know either guy. Uh, Ryoma. What was yeah. their names? What was their names? Edward Petway. I like, I like DeWitt, Edward Petway. In this Seth one. DeWitt versus Edward Petway. I'm going to have to go with Seth just because their gym has a win over me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Your debut. Um. All right. Let's see, I'm going to skip that, this one match. All right, another kickboxing match. Uh, we got This is two really good lightweights. Uh, Shahid Hayward from Black Cat MMA. I think I've watched Town Shahid once. Roman Belcher um, yeah. from Category 5. I like Shahid. I think. Shahid trains with some uh, with uh, Denzel, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. They train with some good guys up there. Roman, he also ha- is at a really good gym. I just done a little bit of training with Roman uh, Saturday. That's a hard fight to call. Um, yeah, I just I, I see that one just being an all out war, three rounds, and whoever wants it more in the end is going to take that one. Yeah, it's going to be a good match. Yeah, um, that, that, all right. That's, that's our responsibility. Fight of the night, right there. Honestly, that's a that's a hell of a fight. Let's see. I'm going to go. All right, we got a couple championship fights here. Then, uh, all right, Cody Noble defending his middleweight boxing championship against Rob Marinick, who has just got some wins, got his record back up to be title eligible. This will be the first time that Cody's defended the title for us. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, he won it in his last fight, right? It was against Rob. I guess Rob, yeah. Um, yep. Uh, I know Rob's been training a lot, um, been training hard. He just had a win, you know, I think. Two or three weeks ago, he looked really great in that. Oh, that's, that's another one, man. Cody, he's uh, such a fucking stud. And I, I think he lost his last fight, but he looked 
damn good doing it. Uh, I like Rob. I've, I've seen Rob a couple ball. times on a couple Rob. shows. Um, I've, I've, I was impressed. He's. I'm going to go Rob because he lost that last fight, and I think that just done something to him. And I know how hard. Yeah. Right. There's a, hun- it's not that there's a hunger that comes with a loss. He's very capable. It's just, I think there's... there's and uh, I th- I'm, I'm going with Rob on that one. Yeah. Kind of Cody's Cody's hungry now. Cody uh, had a hand injury. Set him out for a long time after the Rob fight. Um, I think he hurt it in another fight, actually. Yeah. Uh, won, won that fight, though. But, uh, yeah, so he was out for, what, Almost a year, maybe a year, yeah. and uh, then he picked up a loss going after another title at a different organization. And so he's, you know, he, he he came into that fight with a lot of ring rust, being out for a year. But he's hungry. He we looked, all know Rob's he looked, hungry. He looked really good in that loss, though. Yeah, um, they're, yeah. Yeah, they're both two really hungry, gritty, fucking boxers. It's it, it's going to be a war. Let's see. All right, heavyweight boxing championship, Jonah Adkins. We saw him beat Robert Grubbs in Huntington, yep. and then he lost the decision to Harold Collins, who is now murdering people at the pro level. Um, Jonah is fighting Dakota Begley, who you know picked up those wins over Perry and Honaker, and uh, he's he's been on a been on a tear, knocking people out. Other than when he like broke it, broke his toe in a kickboxing match, but. Um, yeah, he's he's been on a tear. If Dakota is boxing scene out with I agree. a hammer and a cape, I, then I don't think I he agree. should be allowed to be called fat. Fool. He's, he's got to live. He's got to look the brand. I like that. Yeah. Got two weeks, buddy. You get a fucking cape. Right. He's got to quit losing weight too. Thor's he's gonna be fat. called like regular Thor. See, tra- traditionally, he's, he's traditionally Thor's a, Thor's a fat god anyway. Yeah. That's a uh, yeah. He. <laughs> That's a really good fight. Jonah is a uh, very much like an in-your-face, just dirty boxer. He's uh, looking to push you around, you know, uh, kind of work the, the clinch a lot and uh, the dirty boxing. Dakota, though, like you said, he's he's got some power. He uh, he moves well for a bigger guy. He's on something of a I tear like, right now. I like Dakota. Um, I'm going to go Jonah. I'm sorry. I like I like I like Fat uh, Thor in this one too. Um, He's just got power. I mean, his hands are dangerous. Um, And Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this: if I like both these guys, if uh, Jonah definitely is, you know, he could win this fight. If maybe if if Fat Thor don't put him away first couple rounds, maybe Jonah can come rally back because he is tough as hell and. You know, I thought my guy was going to beat him, so he impressed me a lot. Yeah. Jonah has a way to wear people down, mm-hmm. and uh, we've never seen anybody do that to Dakota yet, but Jonah just does stuff to people that, I don't know, it's it's, we- it's weird for him. He le- he makes them carry him around the ring, he and fights, uh, fights wears ugly. people down. works for him. Yeah. He makes yeah. them ugly. But Jonah can box, too. If, jo- if Jonah realizes, all right, this isn't working, Jonah can sit back and box. Um, so he's he's got that. Uh, but hey, whatever. I, I'm interested to see how it plays out. So that's that's definitely a fight that could go either way. Um. All right. Let's see. We got the featherweight MMA championship. Chase Thomas defending his belt against Griffin Liam Bruno from Ground Zero Morgantown. Ground Zero is a good gym. Training up there um, with Colin and Eli. Those yeah, fellas. Uh, man, I. I like Chase. Chase is a good fighter. He's he's one of them guys that surprise you. Um, I'd like to see him defend it, but also I want to go with the guy the guy from Ground Zero. That's a good gym. It's a good group of guys over there. Super experienced, um, and I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a good fight. I think it's, it's gonna be a tough fight for Chase too. Yeah, great group of guys over at uh, Ground Zero. Um... Every single one of them are just top notch guys. Um, they're they're all just badass fighters too. Uh, saying that though, I'm gonna have to go with the defending champ. I mean, he's when the last time that guy lost a fight. You know. So. Yeah. 
He's uh, I'm not gonna go chase the fireball Na- kid. Nasty as overhands. He has been he's back. He's, he's got nasty overhands. Uh, oh yeah, nasty everything. All right, the main event: Denzel Chapman making his pro boxing debut against Mighty Joe Thompson, who is on a two-fight winning streak. Um, his last fight, Joe uh, knocked out his opponent third round uh, on our, our last event, actually, in uh, yep. Lexington in May. Joe's one of those guys, he gets better every time that he, uh, he's mm-hmm. been getting better every time he fights. Uh, he lost to Zane Fry, then came back and beat Zane um, and looked like two different fights you know, just a few months' time. I think his big thing is just letting his hands go and just feeling confident in himself in there. Um, if yeah. he does that, man, he could he could give Denzel a fight. But Denzel's also, I fought Denzel, and uh, he's one of the, I've never had a harder time punching somebody in the face. That guy, you go to punch him, and he's just gone. He's just not there. He, he cuts angles, and footwork is second to none. So, again, Last time he lost Same. the fight. I like Denzel. Um, um, I'm gonna have to he's, go Denzel he's, he's just all around cool guy, you know. Uh, and he beat he beat one of my uh, old teammates as well. Um, I think that was Kyle Eckerd, his pro debut. Yeah. Um, yeah, the armbar king. Mm-hmm. But like I said. Joe is a fucking dog, though, man, and yeah. he always is just coming straight forward. He fights kind of like I do, coming straight forward at all times, no matter what he's getting hit with. So it's going to be a really interesting fight. Can't wait for that one. Joe, Joe's a man. You blast him with your best shot. All you get in return is a smile. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. And Denzel's a guy. He's just really good at not getting hit. Yep. It's hard to touch the man. Um, all right. Um, and oh, one more kickboxing match to look at. First round versus Tyrone. Um, Let's see that one go. It's, it's gonna be a dog fight. I've, I've, I've knocked nobody out in my life. I've uh, all my fights go to decision, so I'm not gonna sit that's, here and say I knocked out. That's the goal. Out. That's I like the goal. To, the goal is always yeah, to like fish too. for a knockout. Like to, but same, I've I have zero knockouts on my record. Um, and you got uh, a hard ass head. So, you know, that's not even, my game plan isn't even to come in and try to knock out. It's just to come on and put, a, put on a fight. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm looking for, a good fight. We, uh, Tartarus, we train fucking three hard rounds, you know. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a war. I that think part. we're going to have a war. I think we're going to have a fight of the night. Maybe we'll see. after this, we'll see. the winner is uh, fighting for a belt. We'll see. I like it. Um, guys, thanks for coming on. Um, that's that's all I have for today. Uh, you guys got anything you, anything to add that, uh, that I left let's out? Let's do it. No, man. 29th. Let's, let's do it. Let's get more this done. time. All right. Yeah. June 29th, baby. June 29th, Bridgeport, West Virginia. The Bridge Sports Complex at 400 Scorcher Boulevard, Bridgeport, West Virginia. Um Light, bro. Jiu-jitsu matches are starting at 4. Fights start at 6.30. Uh, get tickets to newlinecagefighting.com. Tag these guys. They get t- they get uh, credit for sales. They get That's how they can make their money. Um, if you can't make it, pay-per-views on our YouTube page. Get on there. You got to become a... Make sure you are logged into YouTube. Become a member of our page. You can watch Let's it. Let's do All it. Right. Follow Fight Bros. Fight Bros. <laughs>